I'm here with the Coca-Cola MVP of the championship game, Paul Rabel. Paul, number two, is this one any better, any different than the first one or championship? This just as sweet? It's just as sweet. Just as sweet. In the present, it's even sweeter, you know? To do it with this group of guys. You know, as many people expected us to win, they also expected us to lose because of the pressure. And I, I was talking to Coach Berlina before, and I said, you guys, the minute the trade for you was made, the target was put on you guys' chest, that you guys were the favorites, and you came through. It's rare that the favorite wins it. So with this group of guys with the target on your back, is it a little extra special with knowing that you were the favorite? Uh, you know, it's just amazing to, uh, to see the will, will to win on this team. It's what it is, honestly. The way we've won a lot of these games towards the end, down a bunch of goals, and just willing to win. You can't, you can't describe it, you can't recruit it, you can't teach it. We'll talk a little about that. You guys fell behind again, but the will to come back, and you chipped away early and drew even in the second quarter, but just the will to keep come, this team, the semis and the finals, to come back and overcome both deficits in both games. Just the poise of this group, you know, to be able to absorb pressure, stay the course. You know, we talk about it in sports, but we did it. So it was awesome. And you came in and fit into this locker room very well from what I've heard from people, but how special, again, You've won one before, but guys on this team like Greg and Drew and Rob that have never won anything, for you to be able to help them win their first title. I've lost a lot. You know, I've <laughs> lost more than I've won. And so uh, you're always hungry. You know, we play for each other no matter how many championships you have. Well, congratulations on championship number two, but Thank you very much.